Welcome back, everybody. Let's head down to the sideline with kickoff just moments away. This is Empire Field. See, here they are. Four changes from the 3-0 win over DC United. Tyson Wall suspended. In comes Leo Gonzalez. James Riley has a concussion. Zach Scott takes over at right back. Alvaro Fernandez switches to right midfield to cover for the injured Mauro Rosales. Here's the 18. It's an experience. Take away Patrick Gianni's 85 MLS appearances. But the five have only 15 between them. Vancouver, two changes to the team beaten 2-0 at LA last week. Michael Boxall in at centre-back for the suspended Alain Rocha. Jordan Harvey makes his 100th MLS appearance. Jarju up front as well. That's a surprise with Eric Hasley. Kickoff is approaching. Kickoff is brought to you by Subway. Subway restaurants are pleased to announce the oven crisp chicken sub for a limited time only. Subway, eat fresh. See stores for details. What? Evans. He's all alone. He wants to flick it on. Not enough on the throw from Zach Scott though. Here's Evans again. Scott. It's an awkward ball for Cannon to deal with. But he catches cleanly. And got in, in the 13th game. MLS goalkeeper of the year. 2002 and 2004. Kiyumiento. Strength from Hasley before. Now ball at feet. Camilo, Zach Scott with defending to do, into the area goes Camilo, well that's dangerous to Jarju, just wide. Searching for his first MLS goal, nice movement by the Vancouver Whitecaps. Hit after the event, I think by Boxall, who's remained on the ground in the penalty area. Not interfering with play at the moment. Humiento, first time ball by Vianas. What a chance that was for Vancouver. One on one. Using their height, Brian Astis possesses Brad Evans. Away goes Jarju, the Gambian. Humiento down the centre. Camilo on the left hand side. The late keeper is Eric Hasley. Hasley with the big three. Humiento outside. Puts it past Camilo. And that is a wonderful opening goal by the Vancouver Whitecaps. They've torn Seattle apart there, and their main ball players, Cumiento, Camillo, Hasley involved. Fantastic goal by Vancouver, and they take a 1-0 lead. The ball through by Vinas, look at that first time ball by Hasley, in the presence of mind here, to know that if you play it backwards, you can't be offside. It was Cumiento to Camillo for his ninth MLS goal of the season and a ninth assist for David Cumiento. Camillo was in an offside position. Was he gaining an advantage? Right now they're a little more aggressive in the one-on-one -on -one duels. We have to become more aggressive and we got to do a better job of holding the ball up up front. Speaking of aggressive though, Nate Jacob's getting some rough treatments up there. Here goes Jacob down the centre. Can he work it to Montero? He can. Opportunities here. Freddie Montero, Alvaro Fernandez in the far post. Montero, saved by Cannon. The ball's still there. Fernandez, what's that happen against Merrick? Penalty kick. Ziggy will say goodbye for now. That was wonderful work by Freddie Montero. There wasn't it, or is it a goal kick in fact? Goals already this season. He scored against Toronto from the spot. He scored against DC United from the spot. Evans against Cannon. Right foot in. Oh, that's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful by Brad Evans. The heat was on and he responded to Joe Cannon's left and it's 1-1. And they are really enjoying this. Look at this from Evans. Real purpose in the run-up. Dead-eye accuracy from the spot. And he's 100% from the spot this season. Even if the sounders aren't, here's Cannon. How far off the line could you possibly go? But Jaqua, Montero, shows poise. Nagel needs to time his run. He's onside, Lamar Nagel. A little heavy with the pass. A lot of go with the substitute Brodsky here. Humiento arriving in support, but here's Leo Gonzalez. A good deep cross by the Costa Rican towards Jaqua. He climbs ahead of Jordan Harvey. Volley comes in from oh, Alonso. It almost crept inside the left-hand post of Joe Cannon, who was down smartly. Alonso scored against Vancouver in June. And he needs 
He wants the team to uh, win the balls more. He wants those 1v1 duels to be won by the Sounders and to press hard. He also wants the Sounders... Oh, Nagel nice. with the shot off the crossbar. Sorry, Erin. That was fantastic by Lamar Nagel off the crossbar. And the Sounders stay in attack. Fernandez. Chase on for Zach Scott. Keeps it in play. Park. Gonzalez. Jaqua. Montero. Looking for Jaqua again. Demerit hooks it clear, and as far as Montero. Opportunity. Penny Montero! Oh! I say! That is world class from Freddy Montero! How did he do it? Wonderful control and a finish into the top corner. His eighth MLS goal of the season, and it's given Seattle a 2 1 lead at Empire Field. The Colombian is all smiles. Watch this right foot inside the defender, and he scoops it up with the left. Absolutely perfect from Freddy Montero. He's looked in the mood all night. Terrific piece of quality from Seattle's designated player. An American national signed on August the 26th who wants to make an impact. Here's his opportunity. Here's Evans. Montero. Montero takes it to Blackton. It's 3-1. Freddie Montero will play that one and why not? The Sounders are heading back to second place in the Western Conference. And the Cascadia Cup is heading down the I-5 to the city of Seattle. Look at this for a strike. It took a deflection of J.D. Merritt. And Joe Cannon had absolutely no chance. Two goals in a couple of minutes from Freddy Montero. And it's 3-1 to Seattle. What a turnaround we've seen here. And look he, for J.D. Merritt. He's given away a penalty. Got a yellow card. And Central. Hasley wants support. Vinas, they're back in good numbers, Seattle. Cumiento. They've hit a brick wall here, Vancouver. Camilo, central position. Salinas. Strikes it. It fizzed in the air. That's poor from Hurtado. Oh, Montero. Two goals for him in the second half. I'm hearing confirmation the second goal has been accredited to him. No surprise there. But it's now official. Montero. Flips it into the area, and it comes in off the post! Sammy Ochoa, how close can you get? Keller is out and he'll take a few ticks off, demands concentration from his defenders. I think he wanted an outlet throw there from maybe Zach Scott or his wide midfielder Lamar Nagel. Ochoa, Montero, Montero drives it for the hat-trick and it's a good save by Joe Cannon down low to his right. Over to the other side, I've done him a disservice, it's a wonderful ball. And that's it. Herr blows his whistle, and the Seattle Sounders are back to second place in the Western Conference.